Hi, welcome to week three. It's the last discussion of the week. It's discussion number seven. It is for Jamaica Kincaid Story Girl, which was published in 1978, I believe, <laughs> in two different publications. One of them was The New Yorker, and it is phenomenal. It's a great story. Jamaica Kincaid is an awesome writer. Um, so what you're going to do for this discussion, click on your packet. Your packet will open. You can scroll to the Kincaid story. It's after Hemingway's Hills Like White Elephants, which we finished up recently. Um, Kincaid was born in 1949. She is still at it, <laughs> writing and teaching. Um, she's probably retired, but <laughs> definitely still writing. Um, this story is a really beautiful piece because it was really the beginning of Kincaid's writing career. And the way she talks about writing this story and finding her voice in the story and just sticking with the rhythm of her own voice is beautiful. So I encourage you to watch the video down here. It's a BBC, or excuse me, a PBS interview with Kincaid when she was younger talking about Girl and how she wrote that story and how it came to be published. Um, so for this discussion, you're going to read her story, but you're also going to um, listen to her, her reading her own story. So I'm going to click on it so you get a little snippet, a little preview, because it's beautiful. So this is Kincaid reading her story. So I encourage you to listen to her read it as you're following along um, in your packet here, the PDF file. Do your journal entry, which is the two quotes that you're gonna analyze and reflect on why you chose them. And then you can watch the PBS interview here. So you're gonna click on the link. Hopefully you don't have any problems with it loading. So um, an interview is a really great way to get to know about a person because you get to kind of watch somebody asking them questions and you get to kind of watch them interact and engage. So you learn about not only their life, but kind of how they engage with another human being in an intimate setting. And this interview is beautiful. So I'm going to click on it so you can hear just a little bit of Kincaid when she was younger being interviewed with PBS. So it's super cheesy and kind of old. You can tell by watching the video kind of just how it was filmed. You can kind of date it, but it's phenomenal. Trust me, it's worth every minute that you spend listening to her speak. So just as a little side note, did you notice that when it panned out, she did not have her shoes on? Jamaica Kincaid is barefoot in this interview, which I think is absolutely wonderful. She was born and raised in poverty on the British West Indies island of Antigua. At the age of 17, she moved to New York City, where she held several jobs continuing her education, including Franklin College in New Hampshire. But after a year, she returned to New York, looking for work as a writer.
Okay, so that's a little snippet um, of Kincaid. Beautiful, beautiful human being, beautiful writer. So you're going to watch your PBS interview, get a little insight on Jamaica Kincaid, um, and then you're going to post in the discussion. Same protocol, two paragraphs, choose a bullet. Um, if you find more than one bullet exciting, feel free to um, expand and engage with multiple bullets here. There's four of them. Uh, totally up to you. Do whatever sparks your joy. Don't forget, this is a discussion, so you're going to respond to a fellow classmate, engage in ideas, um, push the thinking further, connect to the concepts, um, and just kind of, you know, act like you were in a face-to-face -face class and you're having a conversation, a, a academic, literary, uh, scholarly conversation about Jamaica Kincaid's story, girl. So have fun.